Do you want to finish more videos, publish more content, and make more money? Well, I've got good news because in this video, I'll show you how to do so by speeding up your video editing process significantly. This is the Loop Deck Live S, and I gotta say, based on my own experience, whether you are a beginner or a more experienced video editor, this will make your life a lot easier. So essentially, the Loop Deck Live S is a tiny console for your computer that kind of replaces your keyboard for video editing. Not entirely, but for the most part, for so many tasks. This is what the first page of the Live S looks like. And this is what it looks like when we open up Premiere Pro. It's got editing, color, and audio all on different pages. Let's go to the editing page. And the best part is that you can organize all of these touch buttons however you want them to be organized and assigned. I'm not saying that this is the best way how to organize them, but this is how I prefer them to be. By default, turning the upper knob will zoom in and zoom out on the timeline. What I really like about it is the physical feedback that it gives you and the fact that you can go faster or slower depending on how you like. And by turning the lower knob, you can move forwards or backwards in the timeline. And what's great about it is that depending on how fast you twist the knob, you can move slowly either one frame at a time or you can move very quickly forwards or backwards which makes it so easy to navigate on the timeline. You don't actually have to memorize anything because you can visually see from the touch buttons what they actually do. And you can see it by just having a quick glance at the buttons because they visually tell you what they do. So for a simple guy like me, that's perfect because I'm not going to go and memorize some keyboard shortcuts, no way. For example, normally just to do a normal cut, you would have to go and click on the razor tool and then make the cut. With the Lab S, it's as simple as pressing the razor tool button once to make a cut. And by pressing the arrow to the left, I can undo what I've just done. And by pressing the arrow to the right, I can redo it again. Let's say I want to keep this clip but delete the previous clip. All I have to do is use my mouse to select the previous clip and then press this trash icon button to delete the previous clip. But now it leaves this gap over here. What are we going to do with this? Well, I've got a button specifically assigned for that task. All I have to do is to click close gap and it will delete the gap between the clips. But I've actually got a way to do both, delete the clip and get rid of the gap with one press of a button. And that's called ripple delete. This is pretty self-explanatory. Just press it and it will play the timeline. Press it again and it will pause. Pressing this button will zoom out to reveal the whole timeline and pressing it again will zoom in back to where your playhead was originally. The slip button is very useful because it allows you to move freely this clip and choose any part of this clip without accidentally cutting off the previous clip or the following clip. If you're familiar with the Remix tool in Premiere Pro, it essentially allows you to turn any song into any length, which is very helpful when you've got a song that's too short compared to the length of your video. But the problem is that you have to do a lot of clicking to get to the Remix tool in the first place. With the Live S, all I have to do is to swipe to the next page, press on the Remix tool button and use my mouse to extend the music track to as long as I need it to be. That's fast. The button on the down left corner will bring you back to the beginning where you can choose between editing, color, and audio. And we're gonna go to the color. Now, I'm not gonna go through every single button that I've assigned on the Live S, but I will show you an example of how fun, easy, and precise it is to color grade using this. Let's say I want to change the exposure. I'm just going to press the exposure button and then turn the upper left knob and I can go as fast or slow as I want depending on how much and how precisely I want to adjust the exposure. 
This is one of my favorite things about using the Live S for color grading. With one press of a button, I can put the shot on full screen mode to see how the color grade actually looks like. And I can toggle on and off to see how the shot looked before and after. The audio page. By using the upper knob, we can widen or narrow down the audio track to better see the waveform of the audio. And by using the lower knob, we can adjust the gain of the volume of the audio clip. One very important thing to mention, not only is the Live S very, very good for speeding up your video editing process, but it actually makes you more productive with your day-to-day -day tasks. I want to thank you for watching this video. My name is Jussi and this channel is all about solo filmmaking and videography. And if you want to learn more about how to film yourself, for example, then I highly recommend watching this video over here. All right. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care.